Hi everyone, this is John from Nintex. I know there have been some questions around how you can replicate the wait for item update action in Office 365 as that's no longer available and the wait for field action just doesn't quite have the same functionality. So what I wanted to show today was a really quick workaround that you can use to replicate that same functionality and wait for a field to be populated before the workflow progresses. So here I've got a testing list and I'm going to go ahead and create a new item. And what I want to have happen is I want this workflow to kick off. It'll start on item creation and I want it to wait until the approved column has been populated or the approved field has been populated. Now historically this used to be you had to wait for an explicit value before it would move forward. However, I'm going to show this little workaround of how you can get through this. So we'll go ahead and just really quickly edit this item. We'll say yes. And we should see that update me gets updated and this wait for field change, which is my workflow column, goes to completed. Cool. So how did I do this? Well, what I did was I have another column on this list actually that's called checker. And the way that this column works is that it's a calculated value column and it's saying if this approved column is empty, then it's going to return the value of no. Otherwise, it's going to return the value of yes. So once that field is populated, once approved has been populated, it's no longer empty, this will then evaluate to the value of yes. And to show that off, I'm just going to update my list view. Cool. So let's create one more item here. So when this item is created, we'll see that checker evaluates to no. This is because, again, that approved is empty. So when I come back in here, I can edit this guy. And this time, I'm going to set the value to no, just to show that it's not evaluating off of it just being yes. And then we'll wait for a moment. And now you can see that checker has actually gone to yes, which means that my workflow will continue. This will be completed, and this will be updated. Let's take a look at the workflow design to see how I did this. So I've got my workflow status, I've got a log to history that's just saying waiting for approval, and then I'm using my wait for field change in current item action, and what I'm doing is I'm actually looking at that calculated value column and looking for it to populate in the value of yes. So that way when the value that that calculated value, calculated value column is looking at uh, gets filled, it will populate itself with yes, which will complete this action and progress the workflow. So pretty easy workaround. I hope that helps. I hope that gives a little bit of value and, and an answer to how you can replicate that wait for item update action that we had in SharePoint on-prem.